What is up, obscure mic people? It is Bark, and I've got a audio interface for you today. It is the Steinberg UR242, roughly a $200 audio interface. That is 24-bit, 192 kilohertz, and you can find them on the used market pretty cheap. Let's see if we can't take a look at this thing just right here, right now. No B-roll needed. Two combo XLR jacks, high Z instrument button. We got the gain dials. We got a couple of uh, pads here, negative 10 dB, I assume. We got our phantom power. We got our headphone out. We've got our headphone volume. And we've got our output volume for everything that's on the back. We've got a AC power adapter here. We've got our USB 2.0 power button. Thank you for that Steinberg MIDI in and out. Then we've got line in and line out quarter inch jacks on the back full metal build. Good size, good, just kind of a classic, nice looking interface. Really? I quite like it. And obviously you're listening to the uh, SM seven B on it. And I'm going to, I'm going to give this interface some props right off the bat. As soon as I can set it down and quit fumbling around like a goof, the sound is nice. It, it just feels natural. The headphone out sounds good. Now I know that Julian Krauss took a look at the lower end Steinberg interface. Was it just a 12 or something? I can't remember what it's called, but I know he found the preamps to be a bit noisy. Now I can hear them. And the SM7B, SM7B, I'm so sick of this microphone. I'm not, it's not that I'm sick of it, sick of it. I'm just, <sighs> the fact that you got to throw it on any interface review just to know if it'll work on it because it's such a popular mic. It just kind of gets a little old, a little old. But yeah, he found the preamps to be noisy. I definitely hear a little bit of preamp noise now for podcasting, YouTube, all those things. I don't think it matters. They're not noisy preamps. They're just not super clean. I definitely wouldn't call them noisy. I'll be quiet. You be the judge again. It's all the way up hundred percent gain dials up headphone outs up. I'll turn the headphone out down a little and see if that changes anything. Cause I can go down a little. All right, so I've got no noise now, but I can barely hear myself in the in the headphones as well. Headphone amps back up, being quiet. What do you think? I know that the measurements say that the Steinberg interfaces have noisy preamps. I do believe these are the same preamps as in the UR12, I think. But do you hear anything that would set you in a different path away from this interface. For me, I'm fine with it. Not to mention two XLR ends, combo jacks, the IO on the back, the build quality, the headphone amp is nice, like legitimately nice. Sounds really good. Everything sounds good. Maybe there's preamp noise, but besides that, everything sounds good. And you can get these for like 99 bucks, 24 bit, 192 kilohertz. Let's taper back on this a little bit. Let's see if uh, a mystery microphone, if we need the same amount of gain. It's a dynamic. It's a large diaphragm. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's going to be a mystery. A mystery. A mystery. Mystery mic. There's a lot of obscure mics coming on this channel soon. Mystery microphone. It is kind of a holy grail thing for me. Not sure what I think about the sound yet. Lots of tests to be done. But uh, this is what this mystery microphone sounds like on the Steinberg UR242. Don't need quite as much gain. I'd say I am 97% on the gain. Maybe we'll go 95, 95% on the gain. And it definitely took the, the noise level down a little bit. So... Maybe it's just an SM7B. Maybe it's just the fact that it needs 100% of the gain. Maybe other dynamics are fine on it. Do I have some more? I have some more. 
I've got some more mysteries for you. Interface review, not a lot to talk about. It's a simple yes or no. Good enough. Yay, nay. So we'll we'll do a little mic preview. Mystery mic one is out of here. Hi. I got another mystery microphone here. You will never guess it. You can try. You will not guess it. There is no way you will guess this microphone. But this microphone, I've got it about 95%, just like I did the super mystery here. Oh, so many obscure mics coming your way. So many. So many. But this one, this is just handheld mic, man. It's just a handheld dynamic microphone running into the Steinberg UR242. 95% gain. I'm telling you, I this thing sold, and I half regret it. Like, it sounds good being quiet for the sake of being quiet. Just see if we get any preamp noise. Let's try out the pad real quick. Pad, pad is enabled. Pad is enabled. Pad, 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 pad. Now the pad's off. I took my pad off, folks. I took my pad off. <laughs> I'm a paddle on. I am a paddle on. It's that kind of night here in the obscure Mike's shack, upstairs shack edition. It's it's that kind of night. All right. Simple yes or no. Uh, 24 bit, 192 kilohertz. Used, you can get them for 99 bucks all day long. All day long. No one's looking for these. I'm telling you, it took me months upon months upon months to sell this freaking interface. No one's looking for it. So if you need a nice interface with just natural sounding preamps, good headphone out, 24192, great build quality, good IO, power switch. Now, granted, it's not bus powered, but that's okay, right? I'm okay with it. Especially, this is the kind of unit that's made to stay on a desk or workstation, so... You might as well have it plugged in. Let's go condenser. No, let's do one more obscure one. Ah, uh, yes, another obscure one. Still on about 95% gain. And this is what this other obscure mic coming soon to the channel sounds like on 95% gain. Let's do a condenser. Audio Technica ATM 89R. Handheld condenser microphone. Got 48 volts phantom power on. Got the gain to about 51% now. This is what this sounds like. It's a dark condenser very dark but sound good condenser no preamp noise no issues nothing like that so you don't have to worry about that dynamics i think it passed the test honestly are the preamps a little noisier than than some other interfaces in this class maybe but this thing rocks it just sounds good it just makes everything sound correct in my opinion so simple yes or no on the steinberg you are 242 it's a hell yes for me it's one of the better interfaces i've tested in a while even if the preamps are just a tiny bit hissy at 100 percent, it's still fantastic and it didn't need to be at 100 percent to drive any other dynamic i threw at it so sm7b maybe it's not perfect for that but i think it's good enough secure mics peace out